am Diane Hart, the host of The Opening Statement. Tonight, I have the distinct pleasure of interviewing a phenomenal woman, Miss Sheila B. Sexy Jackson, who is a soul for singer. She is Southern soul at its best. And I'm really excited tonight. And as you know, it will be aired on our station. Please watch us on The Lit TV Network at seven o'clock every Wednesday night. Miss Sheila, thank you so much for joining me. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Super excited about the interview here, Miss Diane. <laughs> and I, we're just going to get started. I want Sheila to tell us a little bit about where she's from and a little bit about her background, because you all are going to find this story so amazing. So, Sheila, we're going to start out by just talking a little bit about where you are from and how you got into this business. Hey, everybody. Hi. I go by my stage name is Sheila Be Sexy. I actually started um, into the music industry about three years ago after I got fired from my job. <laughs> so I wrote this song. I got fired from my job and I put it in my diary. And one day on, on a live fa- uh, Facebook live, I see y'all stop. Check this out. I done wrote a song y'all called I got fired from my job. So I went to sing it. I got fired from my job. I didn't do no wrong. That's the God. That's the song. <laughs> I need to go into the studio with that. So, uh, you know, I was green as far as what did I, what I needed to do. You know, where do I get the, the music, the beats from? Um, so this, I started, like, checking around with different people that had just got started. I reached out to a guy named E-Realist, and he had just done, done a song. And he was a comedian. So I was like, dude, <laughs> I see you singing. So who you got your beats from? So he shared the information with me. Um, by a guy named Flow Beats, and um, he sent me a package, and the package had about about six, seven beats to it for about a minute, fifteen seconds. So I, what I had to do, because I had already wrote the song, I had to listen to every beat and time and lyrics in, it, right? Plug it in until until I, I found one perfect beat. I'm like, that's it, that's <laughs> it right there. <laughs> so I end up going to go to the studio. My nephew Brandon Moore, he's an in- engineer there, and I told him I say. This is this is the beat, um, and this is the lyrics. I I don't know how I'm supposed to put it together, but you know I just want to make it work. So I end up going into the the studio, put my headphones on, and he said, "I'm just gonna run the beat, and you sang it." So I sung the song all the way through, and then there was some parts that we chopped up, and we took some components of the beat and changed the elements of it, and the beat, you know, the the beat that might have been at the end of the song we took and we put it in the middle it was just some things that they had to do in the studio to make it work and um from that point there um i said okay you know and i uploaded it i find up i got with uh there was a group that i used to follow up named jbe um one of the artists there name was jita jones and his crew of people pretty much walked me through as to how you get your record uploaded well you know there's several distributors and what their job is to do is distribute your music digitally so back in the days you know probably 70 60 cds was the was the thing right. That's you right. know you had the eight track you had the cassette tapes then it went to cds now everything is like digital online you have to download the songs and stuff like that so i ended up finding another distributor and um now even now they distribute my music worldwide apple music spotify um, I Heart Radio, Deezer, it's a, it's a bunch of people that they distribute my music to. And I'm thinking, oh, wow, old girl from Hardaway, Florida. I know we, we Hardaway, Florida, baby, we worldwide now. She <laughs> be sick. <laughs> and Hardaway, Florida is just down the street, you all, from Tallahassee. Since nobody really yeah. knows where Hardaway is, Sheila likes to say she's out of Quincy. So now your Quincy, Quincy so- wants you to claim them, too. But I know your folk in Hardaway are probably saying, no, girl, you're really from Hardaway. Don't be talking about yeah, you. That's crazy. Right. <laughs> well, let me that's ask right. you. Yeah, I'm from Hardaway. Let me pride ask you. From our, 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 Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. A proud Hardaway right from the, con- con- right from the country. <laughs> Hardaway, Florida. Yeah. I know that's right. Listen, there's nothing wrong with being from the country. Many of us need to be from the country. We need better people, I'm sure. <laughs> but let me let me ask you this. I can only imagine you okay. started. There are a lot of parts to this that people don't understand, like your BMI and all the other things that one must do to really get this going. So talk a little bit about that. Okay, exactly. Um so there's some phenomenal artists out there. But what you want to do as an artist, if you see that you're getting an audience of people that love your music, you want to protect your music. You want to protect your lyrics. You want to protect your beats. 
So as an artist, what I did, once I got the beat and I bought it exclusively, I wanted to own all the beats, the instrumental, the instrumental components of it. Right. Some people, these beats, I ain't, you know, I ain't never tried that, but I, I purchased the beat. I told them I want exclusive. Uh, I, I want to buy my beats exclusively. Right. That means, okay, when they send the beats over, it comes with the stems. So after I wrote the song, then, like I said, I got in contact with a copyright queen. Her name was Miss Kimberly Hawkins, and she'd been doing my copyrights from day one. And um, from the copyright, then I had to get like a package, which contains ISRC code, um, media base, which tracks your record turns, your spins, your radio play. Um, I even joined, um, uh, I, I utilize BMI, which is a publishing right. company. Right. A lot of the companies, a lot of like, say for example, you want to put your, mu your music in music. In, I mean, in a movie, you know what I'm saying? Say you want to put your music in a movie. Right. Um, they want you to have published works. Right. That's right. You know, you know, meaning like, um, meaning BMI or ASCAP, um, it's, uh, CD, CD baby. It's, it's various publishing companies that's out there. Right. So a lot of the big companies, like movie companies, right? I'm going to yeah. say like Oprah and all them. You got to have that. Music 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 music. Companies. Right, right. You need to have that. Yeah. So I need people to understand yeah. that there's a lot more than just, oh, well, I'm going to create a song. I bought my beats and now I'm just going to put it out. They need to make sure that they are covered. Yes. You know, legally, you need an attorney to be able to read a contract yes. for you. If you are fortunate right. enough to get one, well, you're looking at right, it right. as a record deal. So that yes. is that she had to have an attorney to review her contract to make sure that it made sense, that it protected her. Yes. So, you know, I think a lot of times right. our young people don't really understand the magnitude of what, what one must do. Not just, OK, I got me a song. I put the beats to it. Now I'm going to go around the world with my song. No, not quite that simple because people yeah. will steal your music. They'll steal your yes. verbiage. So, yeah, somebody told me, said, well, just upload it, upload it to Facebook. That's that's the legal. That's the. Mm -mm. That's legally done. It's copyrighted. Once you upload it, now I don't know about that. Now I ain't trusting that. <laughs> I ain't trusting that. Now. What you say? That you might be. Know. They said mail it. You know, mail it, anything you upload, mail it to yourself. I just rather do it the right way. That's that's right. Don't send my stuff over here. That's right. That way that's I know what you're what supposed to do. You want to be sure that you're covered completely. You don't have time to be looking at somebody's playing your music and you're not getting a dime off of it. Makes zero right, that's sense. Right. Yeah. So people that's really right. must understand the legal part of becoming a songwriter, a certified and singer, all of that. So yes. they need to know exactly how this is done. Right. I want to talk a little bit about some of the music that you have written. Tell us why you write the oh. particular type of music that you write. Southern Soul to me is like a depiction of your life. You know, you can tell a story about what happened. Right. So in like my like my first song, I got fired. It was a true story. Right. So um in this in, in this genre of music, which is not worldwide as far as a title yet, we're not even nationwide yet. We just Southern Soul, like we you can hear R and B, that's a genre of music that's actually on record. Um matter of fact, when you upload your music to your distributor, it gives you a, a category. Right. R and B, mm -hmm. um, blues, it does that blues, um, rock, pop. Um, country. So Southern Soul is, is, is a mixture of blues. Right. And uh, juke joint music. Yeah. Like yeah. Yes. Yeah, juke joint. I remember one of those. My mom owned one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I wrote, I got fired. I was like, okay, I felt so much. I felt so good. Like, you know, like music is therapeutic. I got fired. And I was like, okay, I'm going to tell it all then. I'm in love with a married man. How do you want it? Please don't play no games with me. You know, um, they they call me Miss Cougar. Um, I caught up. I know, oh man, funny. I just went to writing. Um, I did, I did, and that's an awesome. So I have a whole. It's, ex it's exhilarating that I can put my life down on a piece of paper, the parts of it I want you all to know about, and turn oh. it to money, actually, because that's yes. what it will eventually be, is a lot yes. of money to talk about my own life. And that's right. People are afraid to do that. But you know what? I find that most of you artists, y'all find that place that you can do that in. And that's through your music. So I'm very, very excited about hearing your songs because I know yes. they are going to be off the hinge so thank you thank yeah. you so now let's then, talk um, a little let me bit share this. go ahead go let ahead. me share this with you so um some years back 
I just didn't know the the dynamic of what music do. And I used to, every time I, I would go through some changes, I would listen to Mary J. Blige. So now I'm able to sing a song where people can relate. Right. And, and it helps them heal. That's right. You know, I just, I'm just, you know, you know, grateful that God gave me that talent. Right. I'm just grateful. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's talk about your comic days. You, you've you been a stand-up comedian <laughs> for your church. Yes, Let's girl. talk a little bit about that. What was that like? So, um, it was a lady named, God bless her dad, name is Anna, Anna Diaries. She had been watching me on Facebook. Um, I grew up in a castle. So, you know, through our high school, you know, we wore dresses. We couldn't wear no pants like y'all. We couldn't wear no Daisy Dukes like y'all, right? <laughs> so, me. so I grew up in a castle, and so you know, this little blue app called Facebook came up, and um, so I started throwing little, little, little jokes out there, and so um, she called me one day. She said, "We having a woman conference in North Carolina, and I want you to put something together for the church with your comedy." I said, "Oh no, I just be playing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no real comedy comedian like that. She said, "No, you do good. You could do fine." So, um, I went to praying like, "Lord, please help me. Let let me get this thing together for the church." So, I end up getting with um listening to Erica Badu, the Bag Lady. Yeah, and I created like a like a spiritual skit that basically uh, um lets you drop baggage in your life. I know so, that. I call I call my sister. I'm like. I need to borrow one of them expensive bags y'all got that Michael Corsi, they, they, they took them expensive bags. So, <laughs> well, so what I was going to do, I was going to put the signs on the, on the bag, like lying and cheating and um, hypocrite. And so in doing this skit, it was a way to show my audience, like in life, even though you got baggage, you can release. That's right. So as I'm, as I'm doing the, the spiritual skit, I'm just dropping the bags, like drop them. Dropping them. So from that point right there, I felt confident with, with the crowd that was cheering me on. Like I got in that element. Skit I had on this dress and this jacket. And when I dropped six bags, I took the jacket off, which is an indication I'm removing the old man. I know that's right. I'm removing the old man and the new person right here. I'm praising God, you know. <laughs> So it was an inspirational um, skit, and, and um, Ms. Vera McIntyre was really the one that said, you are a spiritual comedian, you know? So from that point to this point, you know, I said, I'm going to live my life, and, I, and I'm going to, you know, try this musical thing, and, you know, church folks don't box me in, I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> this over here can help pay some bills over here. Please don't box me don't in. Don't box me in. Let me do all don't the different music and comic that I like to do. And listen, because God has blessed yes. you with this opportunity, surely even your church people know where your heart really yes. is and that God is a yes. life and he's allowed you to do all of this. We're going to take a break. And we will be right back with Miss Sheila B. Sexy Jackson. Yes. I am so excited to have you on with me. You are watching the opening statement with your host, Diane Hart, right here on Tampa Bay Television Network. want to say welcome back to the opening statement. I am your host, Diane Hart, and I'm right here with Sheila B. Sexy. She is the <laughs> baddest, uh, <laughs> baddest girl you all have seen in a long time. So y'all better get ready. You better get ready for Southern Soul. It's growing every single day. And I think it's partly, Sheila, because people don't know what the kids are saying when they're rapping most of the time. It's like <laughs> you five words and all the 25 what? people know what you said. So, and oh, you just rock with the beat, that, girl. That's what they be doing, and I can't rock with the beat because I can't understand what <laughs> what's really happening. <laughs> I, I just want to thank you for coming on to have this conversation. Now, I know you. that you have now signed with a record label. Let's talk a little bit yes. about what that was like yes. and how you got to the record label. So, um, you know, I be surfing the Facebook. I ain't gonna tell you, but <laughs> I be surfing, be looking, and you know what I'm saying. So, I heard this song one day. And I said, oh, I like that, man. It was like a creeping and sneaky song. I said, let me see what this artist is, right? <laughs> so I go over to his page, and, and I see Detroit Radio is one of the stations that be playing the song. And they had a, it was a fly with a number on there. I said, you know what? 
I'm going to try to call that number, see if they'll play my music, right? Right. So I called the number, and um, a young man by the name of Mr. Thomas answered. I said, hey, um, I'm an artist, and I was interested in seeing how do I go about getting my music played in Detroit. You know, he say, "Are uh, you uh, what? What kind of music is it?" And I say, uh, "Southern soul." He said, "Well, I tell you what, we you, you can send it. We'll listen to it. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, we might can even give you a deal." I said, "Okay, I hear you. I hear you now." <laughs> so, um, I sent the music over, and he gave me his name. You know, I'm more than Google. I'm googling his name. Like, let me see what he see. So, I Google his name, and um, uh, that evening. Uh, Mr. Thomas and Pete Peterson called me and they were like, we listened to your song and, and uh, keep a dog on a short leash. We like that, <laughs> you know? And I said, okay, good, you know? And so um, it ended up, they ended up sending me a contract, which that was my first time ever looking at a, uh, a artist contract. So I wasn't familiar with it. Right. So uh, I called my sister in Atlanta, Georgia, and she said, well, I'll set you an appointment with an attorney. That's entertainment right. attorney. That's right. Um, and so uh, I, I went and uh, we talked out and the, it, the uh, attorney reviewed it and she said everything looks good. And um, she was like, congratulations. So <laughs> I got back with them. Yes, ma'am. So because, you know, it'd be so many times and you like you hear stuff on TV right. and you see things on TV about different Big big time artists. That's right. You know, um, who got taken, you know, ready to get out advantage of it. That's because they're not yeah. having somebody professional read their contracts. That's why entertainment attorneys yeah. go to school to learn about the entertainment business so they yeah. can help their clients. And what I do like about Pete and Thomas, that's right. Pete and Thomas are going to insist. You cannot sign with them if you don't have an entertainment attorney review your contract. They won't. Yeah, yeah. They tell me that. Tell you that. Yeah. We're not taking yes. your contract unless you have an attorney review it first. <laughs> because right, I'm that's exactly what they told me. And that's what they told me. They were like, "Listen, oh, we love our music, but uh, until you get an attorney to review this contract, we can't talk to yes. you." Yes. It's like, okay. Yes. So we went out and got an entertainment attorney to actually review the contract. I know that they're excited about what you're doing and they're looking forward. I know that they're already putting it out all over radio stations. Something else that you'd already yeah. said, not the dog on a short leash, because I understand that's going to drop in 2024. But you have something that they're yes. playing right now. What, what, what are they playing right now? This song is called, called Caught Up Remix. That's right. I got Caught, caught up. up. That's right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> caught up with somebody else's man. Uh, we've all been there. You want to eat my man, but I got caught up. <laughs> she said, I got caught, caught up. up. I got caught, caught up. up. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to make some money off of being caught up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's going real good, too. It's Man, it's streaming real good. Matter of fact, I'm going this coming Tuesday. Uh -huh. I always just go out to Birmingham and um, Ricky Smiley got an awesome platform and it, it's called karaoke. So I'll be presenting caught, caught up to the crowd. Good. Um, and it's trending real good. So good. I'm going to go out there and sing it for them and um, mess around with Ricky. Some Ricky, man, I done got caught up, bro. I got <laughs> caught up. Well, you can't help who you fall in love with, but just don't get caught up. Here's my story. It started out, it started out like a one night stand. One night stand. You and me, baby, you and me, baby. We both knew the plan. Do you have anything planned in the slow sipping on wine? We lost track of time. I just kept moving. Now six years later. My baby still is mine Riding round town Holding hands As if he's mine But he's someone else's man I got caught up In a one night stand Ooh, I got caught up 
it got real He used to text my phone Said meet me at the spot Meet me at the spot, baby Cause my baby knew y'all When this thing got hot you ready to make love to We used to talk for hours Every day of the week Every day My best friend lover He was my lover, y'all My number one free My number one free right so let's talk about the fact that you've opened up for some people that people know so let's talk about yes. the folk you've opened up shows so, for. so when i first got started after like three months i had got a call from a um promoter from indianapolis um south Bend, indiana and he said miss sheila he said your name came to me and um we interested in bringing you out here to open up for tucker and i was saying to myself oh this real <laughs> <laughs> yes this is absolutely tucker. real Tucker is like, you know, he right way up there. So they flew me out and I enjoyed the, um, I met Tucker, opened up for him. Nelly the Tiger was there. Uh -huh. um, and then I had an opportunity to open up for King George. Oh, yeah. I know King George. That. Can't stay too long. I love King George. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so um, God just been good, you know, um, meeting people that's, and they so humble. Their right. spirit is so humble, even though they, Oh my God! Their they, they music is streaming millions of streams, but I just been blessed to meet real humble people. Right, like That's and I be you're humble. Yeah, yeah. Think, think so. <laughs> oh, I know you are absolutely. It's because yeah, you're. Thank humble. you. Well, I want to give you an invitation today to join me here in Tallahassee on January okay. 26th. Put it on your book. I've been talking to my group here. We're the Legislative okay. Black Caucus. I am the chairwoman for the Florida Legislative Black Caucus members. And we want you to be there at iGala. And I want okay. some Southern soul for them. Do caught up. I don't think we can do dog on a short leash even then because it hadn't been okay. released yet. And Pete and those would kill okay. me if I ask you to do it. They, they <laughs> literally murder me. <laughs> I'm not ready to go. <laughs> so we can do we'll something else. Up, up, Pete. But yeah. Yeah, I, so I am so looking forward to you being on that show. We have a band that comes in to play, and Thomas okay. Lone is coming from Detroit to play that night as well. So he'll, you know, okay. he plays harmonica. He's a harmonica player. He plays flute, harmonica, wow. drums. He plays a whole bunch of okay. stuff. But he's going to be blowing that harmonica that night. And this is around horns. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be phenomenal. I'll be sending you over some information about it so that you'll know Thank what the dress you. is like and all of that. We get all dressed up and it's it, it's phenomenal. Last year. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, this at the Capitol or Tallahassee? This will be at, oh, it'll be held over at Florida A&M University at one of their buildings, oh. but it'll be all the legislators and their husbands and wives and people who come in for this event every year because oh, they, wow. it's going to be a phenomenal event. Good. All, all the time. Is good. All the time. Good. So I am really God looking forward to having you on that show with me because definitely that you are phenomenal. Definitely. Woman. I'm just a, hey, I'm just a chairwoman of Legislative Black Caucus. They have a full little it's dinner and dancing. You will have wow. some time and you'll get an opportunity to meet a lot Ooh. of legislators here in Tallahassee. And then I also look okay. forward to coming over to the Capitol and spending some time over here so you can get an opportunity to meet. Just let me know. Man, just right, let me know. Listen, we go home this week and we will be back in the Capitol on January 9th and we're here to March 7th. We stay in Tallahassee. Wow. None of us return back to our districts permanently. We literally have to live here for 60 days as okay. we on our budget and all. So I'm looking forward to having you here with us. And I'm excited. I'm everybody excited. I'm telling you, I'm like, I just oh my God. I will. Listen, I'm going to be worldwide. You know I'll be promoting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I had you on my Facebook Live the other day and boy, it blew up. They were like, what a yes. phenomenal show. You've got to do that again. I'm like, I promise you. Yes. Because I talk a lot yes. about politics on my show. Okay. 
because I'm a politician. Okay. But I, yes. have, I, but I know that we have people who want to hear about everything. So it was pure pleasure for me to have you on the show with me. So I was super you. excited. I had a chance to. I don't know if you're familiar with Lenitra Bennett. No, uh, she's a news reporter for WCTV News. Uh huh. I had a chance. You did an interview with her. And I had a chance to. Uh, I attend her birthday party. Okay. And we did the saddle up. Yeah, I have a song <laughs> called, called "Saddle Up," and um, she enjoyed it, man. She That's enjoyed cool. it. She she posted it on her personal page, the the WCTV News Anchor Later yeah. for um WCTV Lenitra. Right. So I'm super excited. Just let me know what songs you want to get into, Girl, and I we can we can take them on the trail. That's right. I absolutely will get the information to you in the next few days. There putting together a lookbook and this lookbook kind of gives us an idea of the type of attire that we should be wearing to this okay. guy. So I will make sure that I get that to you. But I just want to thank, thank you for coming on and spending this time with me. I know that he'll be uh, playing your songs along with our interview. This interview will air next Wednesday night on Lit okay. TV Network. So what I'll do is I'll have Malik send you over a flyer so you can get it out to yes. all of your constituents that yes. are to you and they can Give join us link. and watch you on Roku, Lit TV Network, Tampa Bay TV. That's my very own channel and we're on every week. God is good, baby. next Wednesday you will be on our channel and we're looking I'm so looking forward to it so once um, yes. Mr. T. Pablo gets finished with this video you'll be like oh my god yes you will thoroughly it's gonna be hooked. I know it's gonna be hooked up <laughs> it, it is phenomenal. And I just want to thank him for doing the work that he does to make sure that we all look so pretty when we come on. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but thank you. You're a strong you. connection. I, I don't know. I, you're a strong connection. And God is good. I can't even explain how it's making me feel. Like, I'm talking to somebody, a representative <laughs> that work in the Capitol. Like, really? God, I'm excited. I'm talking to a representative. And I'm excited because I'm talking to the next Grammy Award winner. So look, y'all, when y'all see on television, don't be mad. <laughs> As children say, don't hate, just congratulate. But yeah, that's right. Really, that's right. Yeah, that's you're, right. you're an awesome, phenomenal woman to be able to just step out of your job and say, okay, God, what do you have in store for me? Whatever. Yes, I'm yes. I'm open and I'm yes. listening. And that's why yes. you are a true success and you are humble. Don't give up. Yourself. Nobody. Never. Like never. anybody out there that ever feel like you know you're a failure, you're not. You lose your job, keep going. Anything you can do, just put God first and look, look. Now who would have thought I'd be interviewing, you know, <laughs> with a representative? Ah, come look, on now. Who would have ever thought? Who would have thought I'd have a TV channel? Now I wouldn't have. Right. You know Ooh. what? He has wrong, it already wrong. planned for us, and we just step off into it. We can't go wrong as long as we allow the Creator to yes. guide us. We will never go wrong. So I right. thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you, you on Wednesday. Every okay. Wednesday night, you all, we are up on Roku. So we're excited about having you on our show. And thank you so much for coming on and joining me. You're welcome. I'll be talking. Anytime. Absolutely. Um, make sure y'all follow me on all digital platforms. That's right. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Just Google me. Sheila B. Sexy. All right. You heard Same. Sheila B. Sexy. Join her on all of the platforms. She's out there. YouTube, all of the platforms you all. Sheila B. Sexy. Southern Soul Singer. Certified. That's right, certified. All right, talk to you soon. Bye bye. Can I tell y'all my story? Listen to me. You better watch those chicks hanging around your house. One day you will find out what it's all about. They be twisting and pressing, trying to bribe your man. Next thing you know, she'll have them in the palm of her hand She'll do the freaky things that you ain't never ever did Cause she's trying to win them And she's trying to keep them You better keep that dog